Kurt Papke coming to you with another iMovie tutorial. Have you ever wanted to export or share just a portion of an iMovie project? The most frequent reason for doing this is that the place that you want to export to has a limited amount of space and your iMovie project is huge. It might be an hour long or something like that and you might want to chop it into 10 minute segments or chapters or something like that that can fit on a smaller media. iMovie doesn't support this natively, but there's a very easy way of doing this within iMovie itself that I'm going to show you how to do today so that you can export just a portion of an iMovie project. Here we go. Let's have a look. Combining expert content on outdoor adventures with videography tips and tutorials. Visual Adventures with Kurt Papke. Here's the project that we want to um, export or share in three different pieces. Um, you can see we have uh, part one uh, at the beginning, part two in the middle, and then part three in the end. Uh, the example I'm using is a road trip where I went to Colorado, Isle Royale, and the Boundary Waters canoe area. Uh, besides the main clips on the, uh, on the timeline, uh, we have a soundtrack at the bottom here. It's uh, just one piece of music, but you'll see the music is continuous across the various chapters, so we want it to uh, be seamless as it transitions from one to the next. Uh, and we also have an overlay up here, which is uh, this little footprint up here. It's just in, you know, kind of a typical logo that you might use. Um, it's a picture in picture overlay that uh, overlays all the different uh, pieces, all the three different chapters. And once again, we want that one to, uh, uh, to be continuous throughout. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to create breaks at each of the places where we want um, to begin or end uh, a share or an export. So we can select our soundtrack here and then command select the, uh, the overlay and then hit a command B which makes a break at this point. Now you can see it looks like there's a space between these but when you play them back, um, it's completely seamless, okay? That this only shows that iMovie has, uh, has a transition at this point. So we'll do the same thing at the second spot here. We'll mark the overlay and the soundtrack and Command B and do a break. And now we have three different sections to our video uh, that we can cleanly have a clean uh, break on. So now let's select our first chapter here, and then we will edit, copy. We're gonna copy part one of our project and go back out here to projects, and we're gonna create a brand new blank project and then do an edit, paste. And now our uh, project here has this standalone uh, section of, uh, of our project. You can see up here in the project media that it contains all the different components of this, uh, but one of the good things about iMovie is iMovie is smart enough to know that uh, this media is shared in the library between these different projects, so it's not gonna take up any more space. So you don't have to worry about uh, this copying and pasting operation uh, clogging up your hard drive. Uh, but now we can go up here and we can export uh, to YouTube and Facebook or whatever and uh, do it at uh, whatever resolution we want to. And uh, off we go with our, with our export with the first piece. And uh, the way this works is uh, after you finish this, um, we can just call this uh, part one. You can hang on to this for a while, or if you want, you can go ahead and uh, delete that project and get rid of it. But uh, the way we would continue here, now we would just select the second piece, edit, copy, and then go back out to projects, create new, movie. Once again, edit, 
and paste. And then our this part two is here, and now we can go ahead and export that. So you can do this over and over again as many times as you have to. And uh, at the end of the day, you, you've uh, successfully exported or shared uh, one massive project into three smaller pieces. So I'm going to show you how to do it on the iPad or iPhone. I wouldn't recommend this. It turns out to be much more difficult than you would think. But uh, I'll show you how to do it. It's an exercise in why you want a Mac instead of uh, doing your videos on an iPad anyway. So the first thing we need to do is um, we've got our project here, uh, just like uh, before. You can see we've got our, our three clips in place and our soundtrack underneath. And I've already taken the liberty of, of splitting the, the audio down there and also cutting the, um, the overlay up into three pieces. Um, it turns out you can't split overlays. Um, what you have to do, um, let's go ahead and uh, delete this one so you can see. We'll stretch this one uh, out over these two clips. That's how I first started out. And uh, you would think that you could go in here and just actions uh, break, uh, but you can't do that. So uh, what you have to do in the case of the, these overlays is um, uh, basically uh, cut them down to size by, or trim them down uh, by using the handles on there. And then, uh, and then go ahead and, uh, and duplicate it. so that we have uh, the next one and then rearrange your trim handles again. So that's uh, how we do that. Uh, we, can, uh, we can do it on the audio track. Uh, so if we go to a particular spot on the audio track, uh, we can split it at any arbitrary point. There's no big deal there. I'll undo, undo that. Uh, so now, anyway, we have our, our project just as before. The other thing you'll notice is there are no maps. Uh, uh, iMovie for iPad and iPhone has backgrounds, but no animated maps the way the Mac does. So we've got our, our splits uh, at the appropriate spots. Oh, the last thing you'll know on a notice is that the titles here, there's uh, that little T in the upper left-hand corner. Titles are not separate entities on an iPad or an iPhone. They are an attribute of a clip. So uh, in one regard, that makes it a little bit easier. So anyway, we have our project set up here. Uh, now we want to duplicate it. We don't want to mess with our original. So let's uh, go ahead and do a share here. Now the first thing you have to do is you have to hit Options, and then Project, and then Back. And now you'll see that there's a different set of options available here. Uh, unfortunately, what we have to do, the copy doesn't seem to work. So we save to files. It's preparing the project for sharing. What we're going to do is uh, share the file into the iMovie folder. So now we'll hit save and that'll go ahead and save. And now if we go back out to projects, we can do an import project. And you'll see I'm in the iCloud drive, uh, the iMovie folder. So there's our uh, three part movie. And uh, now I've got uh, a duplicate. So I've got the original and the duplicate. So that's a somewhat unconventional. You have to export and then re-import the file in order to create a copy. But uh, that's how it works on the iPad and the iPhone. So now let's go ahead and edit. And now what we have to do is uh, laboriously, uh, one at a time here, um, delete these uh, uh, other clips that we don't want as part of this particular chapter. And now we can go ahead and we're, we're done and now we can uh, share it to uh, whatever we wish to our, our, um, our photos or whatever. So now we've got it trimmed down. So unfortunately, the um, iMovie on the iPad does not have the ability to select multiple items. You can only you can't, uh, as you can on the on the Mac, where you can set up a rectangle and select uh, hundreds of items on the timeline uh, on the iPhone or the iPad. You can only select one at a time. So you have to, if you have a big project, you have to go in and laboriously 
uh, select and do and delete these items one at a time. So that's how you do it uh, on the iPad and the iPhone. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from this video that helps you in your next project. And maybe you picked up some hints about uh, whether or not you should use iMovie on a Mac versus on an iPad or an iPhone as well. Take care, and uh, if you thought this video was helpful, please click like or subscribe down below.